Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of MarkRushtonGallery.com. It is uh, Saturday night, uh, July 29th, 2023. I'm a little goofy. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing some ink paintings for a client. So let's just do them live, right? Let's make a video about it. And uh, th these might end up in the gallery, but they, they might not. So Anyway, I'm 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 focused. I've already, I've already got eight images already picked out, and obviously tonight's is is Christopher Columbus. There's a reason for it, which I will not explain. But then these are the other ones here. I've already I've already sourced all of the images, printed them off on my pulley printer, not this one, but the other one, the XL, which is over recharging. So I used the. I use the devil out of it, right? And so, you know, this thing here, and then we've got some stuff in jars, and then we got a little uh, happy Buddha there, and then we've got we've got time, and then we get an old lady with a with a cat sitting on a bench. These are all uh, public domain images, apparently. Creative Commons zero, and then we've got these. The, you know, bacteria or whatever. And then uh, the old, you know, religion stuff. So put that aside over here. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be working on here the next week. I have, I have, I have been tasked. And of course, I'm drinking my favorite Kelowna Supernaturals, 100% organic vanilla kefir, because gut health equals brain health. Uh, anyway, I feel renewed. I feel like this is good. Gives me some sort of purpose to do. Not just artsy art stuff or, you know, uh, what do we got here? You know, just, you know, me messing around in the cemetery. Uh, doing my little gothic stuff for my own photography. You know, I've been doing a lot of that here this last couple of weeks. And, you know, some of it's kind of interesting and some of it's kind of good. And uh, some of it's uh, downright, downright amazing. And again, none of these are in none of these are in the gallery yet. They will be. They will be. I'm just, you know, I feel like I, I just want to do a bunch of work in this vein. And then uh, then I will be overwhelmed putting them into the gallery. But this is for a client who's working on a project that needs photos public domain photos printed in a lo-fi way and then my magic that's 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 what i'm doing here that's the order of the day and i i'm just wing he's just wing it he said just wing it i trust i trust your judgment i'm like well that's you can't get any better than that that's that's a good day so we're gonna blue the background here. Let's see where that goes. I didn't want to put it on the tie back because uh, it does tend to soak in. So this is thermal printed paper, the part with Christopher on it, and then this this up here is spun bonnet olefin and Tyvek tape, which is spun bonnet olefin is Tyvek. And again, this does not have to be perfect by any means. It just has to be, right? And I do like a little bit of spillover. It's it's all right. Get the blue into his hat, you know, it's kind of kind of fun. Like that. Whoops, did a little too much there. That's okay. 
will correct. It's fine. We are not striving for perfection here. We're just striving for, uh, I don't know, funky flavor, I guess. I don't know. Azo Yellow Deep, anyone? Goes on orange. And then when you spread it around, it turns yellow. Turn his hat, turn turn this stuff green around it. Turn him a little green. His hands. I'm just fine throwing together this, you know, psychedelic thing here. I guess. I guess it's kind of psychedelic. I don't know. These don't take too long to make, you know. And they're fun. They're kind of commercial, you know. It's like commercial art. I'm not, I don't know. I've never really been like the commercial art type. But, you know, somebody likes what you do and they're like, they sit you down and they're like, hey. I, can you find me some images? Print them off in your the the thing that you do, not this one, but the other one, and uh, throw some ink down the way you know the way it's like that's great. What's not to love? What's not to love? What what is this going to be? Some dark color. Is it going to be some dark color? Sepia. Red? Red might be good. You know, Christopher Columbus was it? He was Italian, wasn't he? He was Italian. Not red enough. That's going to end up being kind of magenta. Kind of pinkish. Yeah, right. We'll just kind of soak it in. Get that little kind of psychedelic thing going on. And uh, oh, like, oh, my God, we got comments tonight. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. Making my little, this is almost... What do you, I, I don't know what you call this. It's, it's almost kind of like pop art. It's like that. It's like that Andy Warhol stuff that he did. You know, he did the soak screens. He'd take the photographs of the iconic images of, you know, Marilyn Monroe, Jackie Kennedy. You know, that's not what this is about. But you know, stylistically, uh kind of the same reflex orange toss a little bit of this in here see where we end up this is almost kind of like a reflex orange it's almost like a fluorescent now i got to be careful here oh this looks great this looks like you know he uh christopher looks like a dandy here with his uh with these colors this looks good He got around, you know. Christopher Columbus. Uh, but I want to have... What else you got here? Scarlet. So I got Scarlet. Processed Magenta. Well, no wonder it looks like Magenta. It's Magenta. Yes, kind of Warhol-ish. I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I've never really, you know, I, I don't know about it. 
Andy Warhol's art, but it's kind of interesting that I kind of gravitated towards that. I don't know why. Okay, so I had processed magenta. Now we're throwing in the scarlet here. So I kind of want to kind of redden that up a little bit there. And I guess we're going to kind of go in an orange direction. But I want to make, he's like, just make it vibrant. Make it like, so I've been tasked to make these images here. And he's just like, make them vibrant. Make them really kind of like stick out. And what I'll do is I'll end up photographing like like this part of it right here, you know, and uh, so it it can look cartoonish, which it, it kind of looks cartoonish here, especially with this uh, lo-fi vibe, you know. That this is going to be a different color here, so we'll stick some uh, sepia on there. Yeah, we'll sepia. It. This will probably smear it a little bit, but that's okay. Just we'll throw on a little bit of the orange in here. And now put this ink on here on top of the other ink. It kind of peels it off a little bit. Some of it, not always. Some of it peels off. Like there you go. You get that sort of Kind of uses it like a, you know. So I got blue down this side. So that's what I want. A little blue down here. Block it out there. Yeah. Kind of like this darkness down here. Man, this is I this is coming together nicely. I, I could tell. I could tell it's already coming together pretty nicely. You know, I'm gonna have the. Uh, I should put this in the gallery. You know, I should. Uh, uh, I could have the Italian Italian American market cornered here with the, with this sort of thing here, and no judging. Listen, I grew up. I grew. I'm not Italian, but I grew up on the Italian side of the town where I grew up, Des Moines. And so, you know. When uh, Columbus Day was celebrated, it was it was a big deal. It was a big deal, and you didn't. There was no none of the modern stuff, right? You watch that little thing on the Sopranos. That's you know about Columbus Day, and that's it was a it's a you know Italian American pride holiday, right? Well, I think we have too many holidays anyway. Because, you know, we should really be getting back to work. But that's just, you know. But, you know, nobody messed with Columbus Day. And that's, that's fine. People want to complain about things. They can complain about things. These hands look terrible. But, you know, hands are, hands are, hands are difficult in art. You know, if you ever look at a painting, especially an older painting, hands are problematic. They're always sticking them in pockets or putting gloves on them or, you know, they look like an afterthought. Like really good hands are really, uh, uh, even with the masters, it's, it's, hands are difficult. 
I think I'm done with this, man. I think I'm done with this. Look at that. That's that's kind of how that's all right. You got a little bit of green around the face. And that's it's it's vibrant. He's wearing that kind of orange thing. I wish it was a little more. He's got the that's going to show up on the uh got got to be careful here with the uh the thumbnail. This almost looks like the uh, that other orange. Anyway, I'm happy with this here. I'm happy with this. But I got seven more of these to do. And I'm not going to do them tonight. I'm going to do one a night. Kind of play around with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. So this is Mark Rushton. My gallery is markrushtongallery.com. I've got a mailing list. It goes out every Sunday. And so you can sign up. There's one in the description there. I just, like talk about my art and the music that I'm doing on a weekly basis. Not too much usually. But anyway, uh, whatever platform you're watching this video on, if you could give it a like and all that sort of stuff, if you like it, that's fine. I don't could care less but if you did it that would be nice have a good evening and we'll see you tomorrow thanks everybody for